What's up ladies and gentlemen, so of course for iOS 11 recently getting announced, a small little thing was also announced with it, and this thing is known as AR Kit from Apple. It is insane. Ever since Pokemon Go was announced maybe like, I don't know, it was like a year back from now, Apple figured out that the next big thing isn't VR, it's not AI, it's not electric cars, those are all pretty massive trends, but the biggest thing, if we remember how big Pokemon Go was, I think is AR. I mean, think about it, from shopping and being able to see a couch and what it will look like in your room before you actually go ahead and order online. That's massive. Giving your iPhone to a kid and them just being able to swing it around and all of a sudden rainbows appearing, aka Snapchat, that is AR, that's massive. So of course, Apple figured this out as they usually do when it comes to trends and here you go. They released this cool little thing and I thought I would go ahead and show you guys the 10 coolest things that I saw people doing as of right now. Now still, this this is pretty new. People are, it's only been like a few weeks and people are going ham on this. It's pretty insane. So of course, as you guys can see, the first one we got here is just testing how well ARKit works, its sta uh, stability. And as you guys can see, he's moving around pretty fast. Um, he's looking pretty close at this cool little airplane right here. It's hovering in place in the air. It doesn't lag too, too much. There's no like pixel or anything of that sorts the quality of and detail isn't the highest on the airplane but still it shows us what this is capable of now the next one is also pretty awesome as i just mentioned you know you might be on amazon trying to buy a new couch or something of that sorts and you're like okay should i buy this and if i buy this it's gonna be a really pain to return i wonder what it would look like in my brand new office well of course you can go ahead and simply use this cool little ar kit right here and place a chair directly in front of your desk that will be a, a you know a kind of fake version of what it will eventually look like heck you don't even have to put down one chair you could design your entire room maybe just take a blank room and you could see what it would look like how where the chair should go where your desk should go and another cool idea that branches off of this is maybe you could actually take small little snippets of air like snapchat allows you to do off people's faces right and you can pin them to certain locations of your room so you could actually take a piece of furniture that's already inside of your room and move it and place it somewhere else to see what it would look like that's just a small thing that could be massive in the future now, of course, as I mentioned with gaming, this dude decided to take it to another level and he decided it would be a fun idea to, you know, take Minecraft itself and turn it into, uh, well, turn it into that. This is pretty insane. He is, he has Minecraft playing and like he's chopping on top of his kitchen countertop. That is absolutely absurd. Um, it's, we're, we're coming to a time, we're not near HoloLens yet, I remember Microsoft was the first ones to, you know, show off the true capabilities of what AR and VR could possibly do, but you don't need glasses for this, you know? All you need is your phone and you just swing it around and all of a sudden there's trees in your, I don't know, your like basement, maybe on top of your bed, maybe on top of your toilet, who knows, whatever you're feeling, which is pretty awesome, it just goes to show the capabilities of this one. Here's another potential for a game, but this one might also be a little practice for all you terrible parkers out there. So basically, it's a, it's a pretty awesome game where you have a car and you try to park it in an actual parking location. Now sure, you do have to go somewhere high up, you know, and you do have to have a parking in place, but with that said, it's pretty cool. The car looks about the same size as all the other cars, and you try to park it from way above and you can drive it around and I don't just see this as something that has potential in terms of a parking game but think about it if a car is being driven around and the AR is completely stable right that means that you could potentially race your friends if you're high enough and have fun doing it how awesome of an idea would that be I don't know Mario Kart in real life guys okay so the next one is a little ridiculous it is a dancing anime figure but you know what I thought I would go ahead and show this one off as well. This one represents potential for a whole different field of things, something that's slightly more inappropriate, so I'm not gonna get into it. But with that said, that there's, there's an idea here, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. All right, so the next one on the list is, of course, writing in the air. Now, Snapchat and a few other era things I've seen, and of course, VR things I've seen, like Microsoft HoloLens, and of course, Microsoft's normal VR, like Oculus, you can go ahead and write in the air. It's actually really cool when you try it out. You're like, whoa, I'm writing in, in the air. This doesn't make any sense. I remember the first time I tried VR, I was like, whoa, I can shoot bows and arrows and get haptic feedback on my HTC Vive, and I was like, whoa, this is insane. So I was like, this has potential, but at the same time, it's more for kids. But I do want to point out that this has a this is a cool way of like looking at how this will impact all the different age groups. Like older people use this, and of course, 
I don't know, teenagers out there will use this and even the kids will have fun using it. Now, speaking of kids, if you cannot get a pet, but your kid really wants a pet dog or a cat, no need to get them one of those fake boring robots that break one in like, I don't even know, mine broke in like a day. This cool little thing right here is your virtual pet. You can go ahead, place it on your desk, you'll jump around, maybe play fetch in the future, but it is pretty awesome. Um, another one, another cool thing that you might want to give to your kid is an airplane, because why not? As you guys can see right here, this is a hardcore playground in the background, maybe a whole like church looking thing. And then there's just an airplane, GTA 5 in real life, anyone? No, oh, actually GTA 6 in real life, no? Well, as you guys can see, it is pretty awesome. The details are insane. I can't believe that this isn't lagging terribly. Like this is, an iPhone is capable of producing this. This is so amazing to me. And then of course in the future, I'm thinking maybe, maybe just maybe, you could even fly this plane around because why not the second one also has to do with a different type of game and maybe even a different type of uh, well i don't really know this is more like augmented reality but also like interacting with reality so as you guys can see this dude has like a blowtorch looking thing and afterwards he's actually cutting a hole on his like tin door thing all right and all of a sudden it's gonna turn into an actual door can you imagine what this means for gameplay? Like imagine like a game where, I, I don't know what a good solid game is, like you're playing like Call of Duty in AR, all of a sudden you could just like use a gun to just shoot at a wall or something and all of a sudden the bullet marks appear or the door itself looks like it falls down or something of that sort. I don't know, the ideas are endless right here, but the capabilities of being able to not only place things into reality, but be able to interact them is just mind-boggling to me like we live in such an absolutely insane time now speaking of interacting with things it's gonna help people maybe in the working area of things as well for example people who have just typical jobs in the work area and here's why look at this here's a cool little example this dude is using a virtual tape measure to measure a picture frame wow that's right that's a picture frame and the iPhone actually tells you how long it is now of course this could be also be used for inappropriate uses as I was reading the comments but you know what that's not the whole point here the whole point here is you're gonna measure how far apart that cool little chair you're looking at is before you go ahead and purchase it on maybe Walmart Amazon eBay and this is a whole different level of shopping maybe of course you actually need to measure measure something maybe outside or maybe you even need to measure something like your entire backyard and it's just not feasible to get a tape measure and go from one side to the other the last one of course shout out to Elon Musk for landing the uh, breaking the record for the SpaceX Falcon rocket or whatever that is of course the Falcon 9 and it just landed on someone's pool because why not all right guys so that is my top 10 AR kit things as you guys can see this is insane all these already and this stuff is still in like beta developers are just playing around with it they just got their hands on it and they're just like oh my god we could do everything all of a sudden so if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like and share it with everyone else because you're gonna be seeing this on your iPhones pretty soon it's just gonna be a norm all of a sudden and all you can say is I made the compilation first hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off